We are going to talk about debit and credit cards. And my learning target is I can distinguish between debit cards and credit cards. So a debit card takes money out of your banking account immediately. You must have enough money in your account right now in this moment when you use a debit card in order to use it. Otherwise, it will be declined. So when you see maybe in the movies or you've been to the store with your parents and you see that their debit card is declined, it means they don't have enough money in their account. It keeps you from spending money you do not have. That is a benefit. The debit card, the disadvantage is you must have the money to use it. Some would say that's not necessarily a disadvantage, but that could be a disadvantage. All right, a credit card does not take money out of your account immediately. You pay off the credit card every month, or you should pay it off every month if we're using our credit cards wisely. Um, and if you have a credit card, you have a credit limit. This means it is the highest amount of money you can charge on the card. So the more trustworthy you are on paying it off, the more your credit limit is going to be. So benefits of a credit card, if you pay it off every month, it shows lenders that they can trust you to pay it back. So if you're paying... If you're paying your credit card off every month and you go to take a loan out for a house or a car, um, a lender will look at your credit history and if they see that you're paying your credit cards off every month, they are more likely to trust you to pay back their loan as opposed to somebody that does not pay off their credit cards every month. Um, you also can get benefits for certain services such as hotels and plane tickets as well as cash back. So if you've ever heard someone say, I paid for my hotel or my plane tickets with points, they mean credit card points. So if you're being responsible with your credit card and you have a credit card specifically to an airline or a hotel, um, you can get points to where the points will cover your hotel cost. Disadvantage of a credit card. If you pay credit cards late or you can't pay it, you can receive a lot of fees and that's what it could be really bad about credit cards is if you're not responsible for it, with it, you can very quickly become um, in debt with credit cards and it's very hard to get out once you are in. Not impossible, but very hard. So if you choose to get a credit card, you need to make sure that you're going to be responsible with it and that you can pay it off every month. All right, so below we're going to distinguish between debit and credit cards. We need to be able to identify the characteristics between the two. So it comes out of your account immediately. That is going to be debit. Temporary way to pay off, um, to pay for goods, um, would be credit card. That's your temporary way because you do not want to rely on using it all the time. It, temporary means that you have to, the money's not going to come out of your account immediately, but you will have to eventually pay it back. All right, must have the money now. That is going to be debit. Can have the money later. So an example of that is maybe you go Christmas shopping or holiday shopping and you charge the amount for the gifts on your credit card and then you plan when you get paid at the end of the month to pay off that credit card. All right, benefits for services. That's going to be a credit card.
and then no benefits would be debit card. So a lot of people hear that you should avoid credit cards. Um, that's not necessarily true. If you're going to be responsible with your credit card, there are, again, those benefits of getting hotel points, plane tickets, cash back, just um, money back into your account. So if you are responsible, credit cards can be a good thing. But if you're not somebody that's responsible with your money, I suggest that you stick to your debit card. Thanks for watching.